It That's, just brings me back to the same question. Dumb or diabolical? Are these people <laughs> stupid or are they really just wow, actually New York Times? Evil. I, mix of both. It really is. Yeah, isn't it mix it? of both. Because they're looking for views and clicks, and like, Ode is not going to get you the hits that right. Paid is going to get you. Right. It's just yep. sadly not. But I don't, that doesn't mean they did it intentionally. So, what do we do as citizens? Because this is not going to change. This is only going to get worse. As Alexander Dugan said on my podcast the other day, he said, there's no fact. There's only information. Yeah. So what do we are to do as individuals moving forward in this universe where we're being bombarded by things that are $750 true, a billion also true? One thing you what can do, do, we do is acknowledge when you're wrong, at least on a personal no, level. No, no. I mean, what do we do as the recipients of this information? How do we make sense of the world? I think stuff like this, at least partly. Yes. Like this. this is called about. sense yeah. making what yeah. we're doing. Sense because making. at least at least the, the option is voting works. And you know, it's really funny. I was like, I wouldn't have said that in 2015 or 16. And then Donald Trump won and started laughing. I'm like, I guess voting works. Like, <laughs> they're freaking out. They're like burning the house down because they hate Trump so much. Yeah. Clearly voting works. Go vote. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And no confrontations. Like, they, they're so hungry for any right winger to slip up mm -hmm. so they can smear and say, that's it. Don't I think, I think it. it's hilarious when they were like, well, I, I can't remember what I was reading. It was about uh, Antifa tearing down this Abraham Lincoln statue. And there was a comment saying, we know it's actually the Proud Boys. I'm like, there's no <laughs> Proud Boy tearing down Abraham Lincoln, dude. That's just not happening. Why would they? they why would the left tear down the statue of Abraham Lincoln when he was the last president to nominate a Supreme Court justice? You know, like in an election year. Like, yeah, remember right. they had to go all the way back <laughs> yeah, to back Abraham to Lincoln, yeah, yeah, Abraham amazing. Lincoln, to come up with some BS story about the Supreme Court nomination no, in an election. They, they tore down Abraham Lincoln because uh, he was he was uh, a president during expansion. Uh, he was an expansionist, westward expansion. Colonialist. Yes. And he was stealing land from the indigenous. He was a Republican, too. So you know what's crazy? Yeah. I saw uh, uh, this progressive friend of mine posted this thread about how you can no longer call Los Angeles like L.A. or something. Because yeah, it's like the Spanish name is No, like, the Native American. It's like Ushanga or something. Uh, Ushagna or something. I don't know. I, I thought they were going to say Los Angeles is like a cultural appropriation of this Spanish phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, know, you know what the actual name of L.A. is? It's like this ridiculously long thing. Oh, really? Yeah, no, can, you, can you can you pull yeah, the Wikipedia? Yeah. It's in, I, I didn't know this. I don't know how you guys feel about, while you're looking that up, um, Columbus Day. Because I think Columbus was a psychopath. And mm, we got taught no. a lot of like, Bro, Columbus first was of all, the, you got to be a psychopath guy. to get on a boat to sail off the yes. edge of the True. world. True. First definitely of all. Read it. So, And then you have to be a psychopath to manage the gang of guys that are going to be willing to do such a thing. Yeah. Right? Other psychopaths, yes. Right, exactly. He cut me off at any time, lady, if you find what L.A. is. <laughs> oh, yeah, we it. found it. We're looking <laughs> oh, at it right now. Yeah, I got it. Through, yeah. I can't pronounce this in Spanish. Wait, why is my mic not on? El Pueblo. <laughs> All right, it's uh, the actual name of L.A. is El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Angeles del Rio Porchincula. Oh, oh Porchincula. The, town the, of Our Lady, the, the queen. queen of Angels of the River Porchincula. Oh, and Porchincula is the native... Word? I, I don't idea. know. Yeah, I got nothing. I'm not familiar so, with so, that. so it's also well, think about Columbus. Stupid. I don't know how you guys feel about changing it to Indigenous Peoples Day because, like, he would he had his two brothers and they took. I think it was the Dominican Republic. Is that where they they set up their governorship? Yes, and basically, were just beating people on the street. His brothers would drag women by the hair down the road and like rape them in I've, public. I, I've heard too many different stories. Yeah. So I, I just do. I just don't care. I heard that he was actually punished for the cruelty. When he, when he returned to Europe and he got criminal charges and I've heard a whole bunch of others. So I'm just like, you know, man, it's what, what, we're, what we're dealing with right now and, and the reason why I find this censorship and this Biden stuff so scary, historical revisionists, the statues are being torn down right now. This is not a joke. This is, this, this is their revolution. No one is stopping them. They keep doing it. They, they've been doing it. And they started with Confederates and, and, and you know, it's, 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 so, it's so amazing how much it's like, they, they, it's on purpose. They know that no one's really going to defend Confederates. Like, dude, personally, I think the Confederate flags, you put them in uh, the Confederate statues, you put them in a museum, we put up a plaque, we explain our history and all that stuff, make sure people remember and they can learn the history. Then they're like, okay, now we're going to tear down Thomas Jefferson because, you know, he had slaves. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thomas Jefferson was a lot of things, but we cherish the good, not the bad. Yeah. Then they tear down George Washington. Then they tear down Hans Christian Hegg a Union soldier who died fighting to free the slaves, an ab abolitionist, and that was his, his, his claim to fame. That's it. He was like 30 years old. He said, we got to abolish this. I will die to free slaves. And then he did. And they tore his statue down. Frederick Douglass gets torn down. Literally, dude was a slave and then worked on the Underground Railroad and fought 
legislatively and physically to free the slaves. Amazing, dude. They tear a statue. Here's down. Two, two little stories about how this has progressed and how quickly. In 2014, they were doing some statue stuff, but it was probably like some KKK guy at the time. And I was like, where is this going to go? Are we going to be tearing down statues of Washington one day? I said this on my Trump Facebook page. Oh, uh, this wow. is like 2014. Everybody freaked out. They thought I was a maniac for it. <gasps> Second thing is... I went to Santa Fe a couple years ago, Santa Fe, New Mexico. I was invited to speak at the University of New Mexico when I was doing a book tour for Democrats to Deplorable. It's on oh, Amazon.com, by the way. <laughs> Democrats to Deplorable. There we go. I'm a media professional. <laughs> and uh, they actually banned me as I'm flying on my way to New Mexico. So I, I, I don't actually get to speak there because there was a hubbub. So I do a tour. We go to Santa Fe. I was in Albuquerque and we go to Santa Fe. And in the middle of the town, they have this 1869 monument. monument. And it was questionable because it was involved like killing Indians and all kinds of stuff. And there's a plaque and it said like, oh, they use words like savage and rebel and whatever on this monument. It's on dispute. You know, tempers were high. Times have changed. We've grown and evolved, whatever, whatever. And I took a picture of it then in 2018. I was like, look, this is how we should handle That's disputed great. monuments. Right. Put a plaque next to it. Explain what happened. Show our progression as people, as humans, as a society. And guess what? They just tore it down. They tore down that very freaking statue and just like two days ago. A monument to the Union soldiers. Yeah. They crossed out apparently the, like the word savages or whatever. Yeah. And, and left it up as a monument to the Union soldiers who died to end slavery. Jeez. Well, they tore down Abraham Lincoln. So that finally well, happened. Why? <laughs> well... <laughs> The guy who literally signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Yep. Uh -huh. He gets torn down. Uh, and Teddy Roosevelt, because they're expansionists. Teddy Roosevelt apparently said some offensive things about Native Americans. Yeah, he, he killed a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they, t they tear him down. They hate him. He Teddy. was an empire builder. He, he was kind of like a Trump. Trump People hated him. Loved him and hated him. Yeah, he was an empire builder. Yeah. For a lot sure. of love at the time. A lot of love. This is, this is what scares me. It's the revisionism. It's the, it's the fake, you know, everything you have done is bad, and they ignore everything else. As, it's like... How far back do we go? How far, how far back do we go to figure out who gets what? Because right. the Native Americans fought for land too. You know? <laughs> of course. And so I, they I, fought I, each I'm, other. They were vicious sure. against each other. And I'm, not, and, and I'm not saying that anything the colonists who came to this country did was good. I'm just saying, where are we now? What can we do to make everything better? How do we, how do we make that rising tide raise all ships? Are we going to do it by burning things down and screaming? No, we're not. No, not. The logical conclusion of this is that we just give everything back to the trees. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Like that. Yeah, no. I like that. I, like I think where you're coming from. I like it. I don't. What? What came? What was the first thing on land? It wasn't trees, was it? Was it trees? I have no idea. Fungus, yeah, probably. Yeah, it might have been. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Definitely. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I think there. I think trees came way, way after land animals. It was something else. I have no clue. I was reading. I was reading. No, no, no. On land, I was reading something <laughs> that was like. Out. I was reading something that was like. Uh, Trees are actually millions of years younger than like some specific land critters or something. Oh wow! Like there were other plants here, and the algae was you know oxygen oxygenifying or whatever. It coral, was. coral's an animal, which is odd. Maybe there was land coral. <laughs> yeah, land. I don't know about it. that. Just throwing stuff. It out wouldn't there. be able to move around. You know? But where, we, what do we give it back to? Like, how do we repair and move forward without destroying everything? Well, you just recognize fundamental human rights and you, you move forward. It's, it's as simple as that. Fundamental human rights. Are human rights universal? Does every human in the, in the, on the planet have the same human rights? Does every culture have the same notion well, of that's rights? A different question. Yeah. I believe that we have been bestowed by our creator inalienable rights. Indeed. They, they're endowed upon us. Uh, I'm actually not 100%. I'm just saying, you know, that's basically what we said in the yeah. U.S. said in the, what was it, the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. And uh, the rights are granted to us not uh, by, by just the fact that we exist, not by a king or a government. Mm -hmm. That's not true for other cultures. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that's and, why they don't like us so much is because we declared that those are universal. Yep. Yeah. And if they're universal, that means if you haven't adopted them, that means that you're doing it wrong. Like and human slavery. It, it, it puts us in a position of conflict. This is what the outs, this is what the rest of the world thinks, right? They have their own their own civilizations and their own cultures and their own morals and their own idea of human values, and then they hear us saying, Hey, ours are universal, buddy. Hmm. And if you don't take them, you're in big trouble. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. So come back to check us out when we go live. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Hit the notification bell, and we are also available on all podcast platforms for free if you want to listen to us there. Thanks for hanging out, and we will see you all next time.